Orphan Sunday is coming up this Sunday. Yes. Uh, what is your personal experience with adoption and the child welfare system? So my husband and I are in the process of adopting right now. We have really? uh, Avery, who is our biological child, okay. and we are in the process of adopting our second child. Um, so we have learned a lot um, through this process of just waiting. Um, it has been the toughest part of it. Um, I'm not very familiar. How long, you say waiting, how, how long have you been waiting? Um, so we started the process about um, in March last year, um, actively mm -hmm. working with an organization called AIM. So over a year. So over a year. I was adopted whenever I was young. Um, so how I, young? I was six when I, when I was adopted. My mom mm -hmm. is my biological mother, um, but my dad adopted me when he married my mom. Do you remember before you were adopted and yes. after you were adopted? Yes. What, what's the biggest difference that you think you recognized as a child? Um, I remember being a child and my biological father looking at me and telling me that I wasn't his, that um, he didn't want me, he didn't like me, he, if he didn't like me, he didn't love me. You know, I, I remember those things. Um, How and, young were you when? Uh, younger than six, I was four, three. And yeah. those, are, those are things whenever, um, that were really hard for me to let go as a um, believer, like whenever I first became a believer, um, of letting go of that kind of resentment that I had on him, thinking that somebody can look at their, a person that they made and say like, I don't want you. Um, and it's, it's heartbreaking for me, which has kind of pushed my urge to adopt help. Uh, besides adoption and uh, foster care, uh, babysitting, you know, mm -hmm. kind of training, what are other ways that people can get involved to help in the child welfare crisis in Texas? Um, so giving um, money is, it's both mm -hmm. an easy and a difficult thing to give. Um, it, you can give to um, most um, care organizations. Um, I know like the Hope Clinic here in Beaumont. Um, what is the Hope um, The Hope Clinic is a organization that provides care to um, women who are in a tough spot, who are pregnant or in thinking about things like abortion and stuff like that. They, um, in ways that they're able to the best, um, point them to an adoption option mm -hmm. and just counsel and mentor and disciple and pour into that um, girl as much as she'll let them. Mm -hmm. um, Buckner, um, uh, the Rainbow Room. Um, what they, is, what's the Rainbow Room? Um, the Rainbow, you can give don donations of um, children things. So they um, help take care of the like physical needs uh, from what so I've like experienced clothes. with them. Yeah. Okay. like. Um, I think more equipment, like, okay. um, uh, towels. like yeah, things like, yeah, okay. things to help. Um, because with um, me coming into helping babysit, um, I've had a social worker ask me, you know, hey, do you need snacks? Do you need diapers? Do you need wipes? Do you, mm -hmm. like, give us the list of the things that you need so that while you're taking care of these children, um, you'll have what you need. Like, they're, they're there to provide that. So... Um, money helps buy those things. Donations of those things help um, the families of fo foster families and of the babysitters. As someone who was adopted and someone who's going through the adoption process, what would you say to someone who feels like God is leading them in that direction mm -hmm. but hasn't taken that first step yet? What you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> I've never read the Bible where it says take care of the orphans and the widows and for myself seen that as an option hmm. um, and I know that for a lot of people it's not it's not they're not able to physically adopt they're not able to actively adopt but we had talked about giving in different ways and that that is taking care of them just as much and um, so the, for the people who are thinking about adopting but aren't taking that step yet. Um, if you're thinking about it, God's put it on your heart. God's planted that seed. You know, 
What are you waiting for? There's babies out there who need homes and love.